So if you've just got U Fiber and you've got one gig and I think you'll have the is it Iris Iris router whatever it is. Um you should have you should be getting this router. Now in this video I'm gonna show you how to um forward the parts. Um it, it's straight simple really. You need to look on the bottom of the router under here and there'll be an IP address to log in. Um let me go on this page and we'll see it. It should be one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two five four of some on that line. So there'll be an IP address at the bottom. Um now we want to go on foot powered in. So this will be in the firewall section and it'll be under um port forwarding. So um on the bottom of your router there'll be your access code as well. Um, you might want to change that once you've logged in as well. Let me see if I can remember what mine was. There we go. Now, so once you've logged into the Iris router, you want to go to firewall and then you want to go to port forwarding. And as you can see, I've got some temporary ones set up here because I'm running a seven days to die server. As you need to forward ports for stuff like that. And as you can see, the router comes pre-configured with quite a few. The ones with the stars are the ones that I've made myself. But um, as you can see, whoa, is that really in there? There's one that says all parts, that shouldn't be there. As you can see, some of the games are already in here. Um, you've got Apache, which I don't know why that's in there. I don't know if that's a game or maybe a web server, part 80. You've got your battlefields, you've got BitTorrent, you've got quite a few ones, and if you sc scroll down, there's even eDonkey, wow, that's old. Unless you've got a DNS server, if you want to run a DNS server for some strange reason. Um, the email, that's just old, what? You've got Halo, you've got your Grand Theft Auto 2, and you've got an FTP one there, set up for you. I won't advise using that because there's no um, security, well, encryption between FTP. I'd use SFTP or the, is it STMP, the other one, whichever. Um, you have IMA client as well, just in case some games need that. You've got your iTunes, you've got your part 80, you've got your part 80 uh, encryption. ICQ, wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Um, Cali, there's some old, weird old ones on here. And then you've got your email thing, just in case you want to run an email server. And you've got tons of them, VCN and all that. And if you want to make your own, you can click down here and click custom. Call it whatever you want. I'll just call it test. And then put the parts in. So let's say it's um, secure FTP, that'll be port 22. So just put this to port 22 and that to port 22. And then pick which one it is. It's probably both. And then click add. And then it should appear in this list here. And that is how you do port forwarding on the U Fiber 1 gig Iris router. I hope that helps you out. See you later. Bye bye.